What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Lando. Success, hope, all is well. So today, I was going to do a top five stocks to buy in the month of October, but I realized I don't feel like organized a video. So I'm about to just freestyle it, show you what type of stocks that I'm looking to buy, which ones I already possibly have bought. All I ask is in return to hit that good old subscribe button. You don't even got to hit the like button. Just hit the subscribe button. Let's get to subscribers up. Hope all is well. So the first thing you want to do is see what happened the month before. Since we're in October, we want to see what stocks basically fail or did the worst in September. And this is an article on Market Watch. With these 20 stocks in the S&P 500 tumble between 20 and 30 percent in September. You go down and mainly you're looking at the different sector and the sector that went down the most is communication services you see real estate definitely went down information technology but you really want to look at the companies now if you look at the september price change is going from the highest to low fedex dropped almost 30 percent vf corp you got ford motor company 26 percent so companies that i actually will look at is like fedex because i'm very hip and educated about fedex but with their ceo doing that lion i wouldn't invest in fedex right now ford motor company i already invested in ford and made money with ford and sold at a good price so i'm not looking at ford right now but you know depending on what you like if you like adobe i never get into the cruise things left them alone i definitely made money with advanced micro devices AD, AMD, this is definitely a company to look at. So this is the first one for October. Let's look at them. And we're going to look at them on Moomoo, where you can get 15 free stocks this month. All you got to do is sign up, do a deposit of $100, get some stocks, a deposit of $2,000, get you some more stocks. We're also looking to see like what's going on in the news, what's new, what's been going on, advanced micro device stock outperform their competitors on a strong trading day so that's always good to see and you're looking at the 52 week high is 164 dollars we are at 66 dollars so half of, half of this is like 80 like man like 82 dollars so we're under half we're like at close to 58 60 percent down from its 52 week high and our 52 week low is at 62 we are right here this is a perfect perfect company to be investing in in october you can do some more research and check them out and look at this this is actually this year i believe this is up in 2022 cruise line down 65 percent carmax down because car sales finally don't dwindling down caesar entertainment 65 percent Jeez, let's see. West Rock, Nike. Nike is a company that's an option that's down 21%. So, Nike wouldn't be a bad stock. You can look at Nike. I invent, I have some stock in Nike, not a lot. It's just don't give me like high growth, and I don't think they pay a good enough dividend. Do, do Nike even pay dividend? Yeah, they pay 1.43. It's not bad. It's just, you know, I I guess my upside is elsewhere. I can make more money somewhere else. But same thing, there's close they are close to their lows. $82, $85. So if you're gonna buy Nike, now will be the time. And you can check some other things out. Now the next thing I do is use Seeking Alpha. Seeking Alpha is a platform that lets you do deep analytics on stocks, and this will help me pick and help me to pick my one in stocks. And I actually have a link in the bottom. If you sign up, you get 50% off with my link. The annual membership is $239, but with my link, you get it for $119. Shout out to Seeking Alpha. You can do top rated stocks. You can do top rated dividend stocks, growth. Right now, I'm looking for growth plus some good dividends. Now, you see this is at the top, but the reason I wouldn't invest in them off the get-go is... I love their growth. Profitability is a D. You got to know how to make money. So I'm looking for growth and profitability, both to be no lower than Bs. So if we look at it, both of these are great. A lot of these are energies. 
yes this is my this is another one you can add i did multiple videos about this one great great stock this is probably my favorite one right now to be bullish on because you're just going to make money if you keep on dollar cost averaging with them you can check them out a little bit more okay but we're looking at growth we're looking at profitability and we're trying to avoid some energy stocks because and a lot of these energy stocks won't actually be here well they will be here but they won't be doing as good three years from now because or five ten years from now because we have everything is going and transferring over from gas to solar power and different things mainly with tesla and electric so you can get energy stocks you just have to be very careful on which ones that will be here years from now so this is mainly what i do i take time look at this it's actually a good one it's a real estate company um m homes look at this one all the indications on m homes is beautiful i love it i just can't justify investing in a home building type of company when i know the market is crashing i did some research i believe it will go down a little bit more and let's see right now if it's at 38 it can probably go to 29 dollars. if it go down to 29 dollars or under 30 that's probably the buy-in mark for that one so you can check those out but we're gonna go back over to my watch list and we're gonna see which ones i like first we have google if i had enough money i would be buying one thing of google every single day under a hundred dollars i have what i have i think two google shares i'm going to build my position up to 10. hopefully by the end of this month i actually have a call option on Robinhood because i believe they actually going to have a good month apple apple have a lot going on but apple is always a great buy i told you guys about this one tesla is a great buy right now because everybody's going up tesla is going down 242 in the red i actually i'm putting a hundred dollars in tesla tomorrow i am using stash invest but you have to be careful with tesla because tesla can go lower they can go lower the 52 week low is 206 it can keep on dropping and the main reason it's dropping right now is because they had their projections of how many cars it was going to deliver and it was like 270,000 that they had expected and they end up delivering 200 or 340,000 so it wasn't no crazy big miss but since it's tesla and they missed their numbers you know everybody is acting crazy about it and another good one is amazon i will be buying some more amazon stock at 115 dollars when it originally did to split it was at 125 so the way i look at it is anything under the split under 125 is good and i need to buy some closer to now than later because if you buy them now you're going to get ready for this november and december this black friday this christmas time then tax season so i think amazon is going to have a great great winner you want to be prepared you want to be ready for it. everything else i'm just sitting back i bought my son one qqq today you know with his portfolio i just buy something simple an etf so we got him one of these he get one etf a month to build his strong portfolio if you are interested about more information about that i will let you guys know in the patreon but outside of that, just want to give you guys a little idea of what stocks I was looking at. Let me know which ones you're looking at in the comments. And also, don't forget to get your 15 free stocks with Moomoo. Click the link in the bio, or you can get signed up with Seeking Alpha. Lando says, and I'm out.